Welcome to coverage of the Puerto Rico tip-off tournament. With me is Dick Vitale and, of course, courtside Aaron Andrews. And, of course, we look here at our star watch. And, of course, here's our starting lineup. Mr. Nestler, I like the matchup at the small forward position. Definitely two of the higher-rated players on the floor. Definitely a matchup we should continue to look at. And the referee is ready to toss it up. Play ball, baby. Play ball. The zebra tosses it up. And we're underway. On the left side. Puts it on the floor and up and under. The missed shot. Jones receives the ball. And they go into their motion offense, working with four round one here. Well, you know, the key to this offense, you better have a big guy on the inside who can be effective, and then a big guy who has versatility who can step out. And they certainly have the elements to make this offense. That layup will count for two, plus the harm. Hey, he sized the defender up and protected the ball, going in for the layup. Boy, was that beautiful. Number zero gets his first minute. Very strategic substitution, Brad. Good decision by the coach. He goes to the line for the first time. Well, the arc looked good. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Stolen away. Now looking for the ball screen, Dick. Hey, the two-man game, Brad. So many teams incorporated into their scheme because it works. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. The freshman's a bit careless with the ball. And a momentary look from three-point land. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Working around. He gets the rejection. We'll stay right here. So the inbound play on the baseline. Fed the low block. Bad decision there by the freshman. Coleman picks up the foul. First team foul. Here's another solid junior, Dick. Knowing there are guys on your team who know what you want and know what it takes to be successful is a big bonus. He hits it. Side. Now the turnaround jumper. Off the mark. There's the trap. Goes up for two. Can't put it down. Jones handles the feed. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Top of the circle, not this time.
Looking for a good shot. Blocks it. He fouled him. Hey, a player senior year is such an emotional one. The key is to stay focused and not get caught up on being in your last year of collegiate basketball. If you focus on the right things, win or lose, it'll be a memorable experience. Top, controlling the ball. It sticks. Instead of giving him that, use a foul. Number 12 gets the pass. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Nails the jumper. Look at that spacing. He's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Working it around the perimeter. Takes the jumper. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Right now, it's a one-man show. The other players need to step up. Trying to feed inside. He goes up with it. Scorches the net with a J. Lewis receives the ball. On the outside. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Double team now. Bad angle. Number zero receives the ball. Trying to pack it inside. He attempts the jump shot. Excellent jump shot right there. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Throws it up. Wow, that was a classic alley-oop. Hey, the finger went up in the air before the screen was set. Gave it up. He shoots from the angle. Nope. He grabs the rebound. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries for two. He gets the bucket to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. For two. You betcha. Goes up for two. Drains it. They'll work it around the arc. For the bucket. Scorches the net. He cut back door and received the pass. You know, Brad, as a coach, you teach your players to read the defender. And when he's not looking, deliver the pass. Gave it up. He shoots from the corner. Bust the J. Out on the wing. He puts up the J. And nice looking jumper in the lane.
Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Trying to feed the low block. Turn around jumper. Jumper won't go. Lewis handles the feed. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The turn, a fadeaway jumper. I'll tell you, you'll be exceptional to make that shot. Because a lot of coaches don't like it because you're going away. You're not in rebound position. You better make it count. Now they work it around the perimeter. Takes his jumper and score it. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Jumper. Nails a sweet jumper. On the outside. Bad decision there by the senior. Number two handles the feed. He wants it. He's asking for it on the low block, and they don't get it to him. He shoots from the deep corner. Off the mark. Great shot. You always want your players going hard to the basket like that, right, Dick? That's a great job, Brad. Using his athleticism to get to the hoop and convert the shot got it the Longhorns have had some recent success recruiting their roster has some really solid freshmen on they look to get it to the inside with a jumper knocks it down On the right side. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He tries the jumper. They got it. They work it around the perimeter. Number two is called for the foul. Jones comes in for his first go around tonight, Dick. I'll tell you, the offense doesn't miss a beat when this guy comes in. He'll attempt two shots. Misses it. teams are looking to get something going here. Might be a ball screen here, Dick. Well, you got to use that screen. Hey, how to dribble and use the screen is important in a pick and roll situation. Hard foul. He gets the tough layup and a foul to go with it, Dick. Hey, that was awesome, baby, with a capital A. Number three set to record his first action. Hey, this guy will give you a great hustle on a defensive end of the floor. Jones steps to the line for the first time. Got it from the free throw line. Oh, this man's in trouble. Lobs it. That was a beautiful alley-oop. He called for it and then went up and put it down. Picture perfect, Brad. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. What a dipsy do, Dunkaroo. For two, for the bucket. Rebound up. There's the tempo for the game thus far. Hey, currently the tempo is definitely on the high side, Brad. Up and inside. Yeah. 
Around eight minutes remaining on the game clock. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. That's even more. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Way out on the right wing. Jump hook from the low block. Jumper didn't look pretty. I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. They got the offensive rebound on the stick back. Johnson handles the feed. They work the perimeter. From the corner, gets the J to fall. Goes up for two. Off the mark. With a bucket. No good. On the dribble, gives it up. About seven minutes remaining. On the left side, top of the circle, he drains the jumper. Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. Buried it. And momentary look from three-point land. For two. Off the glass and no good. On the inside. Goes up for two. He hits the shot. About six minutes remaining. Gave it up. He shoots from the corner. Jumper won't go. Coleman receives the pass. They work it around the perimeter. Takes a medium range jumper. Scorches the net with a J. the bucket oh yes on the dribble gives it up tries for two excellent jump shot right there five minutes left in the game clock there they come with a double team to stop it to go inside and they do they got on the low block he misses the fadeaway isolated on the outside they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper and now there's a whistle with a foul. he gets the foul and the layup will count dick hey way to play strong my man way to play strong number 12 finds himself back out on the court this team plays a lot differently when he's in the game, Brad. Is that good or bad, Dick? You know? I think they play a lot more under control. Good. That trap could spell some trouble. Number three takes the pass. For two. Comes up empty. He misses it. Any chance these guys are going to slow up on D tonight, Dick? Hey, not on your life, Brad. This defense is here to stay, baby. He goes up with it. Can't connect. Goes up for two. Off the glass and no good. Looking for a good shot. Number 21 is whistled. The layup counts and the foul. He went hard to the hoop knowing he was going to get fouled. 
Baker checks back in. Hey, yes, sometimes that quick breather can be the difference, Brad. Opportunity for a three-point play now. He misses it. They haven't been able to put it in from the line all night. Hey, this is how you win ball games, guys. Definitely a foul. When he gets to the line, he's usually making them. He really knows how to focus in on the target during free throws. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon, NBN. Dick, you got to be prepared when you go up against this team. They love to pressure in the full court. Hey, you've got that right, Mr. Nestle. They like to get in your face and force you to commit turnovers. Look at that spacing. With the block. I think they're trying to make a statement. He goes to the free throw line. This is the first. Misses the second. He gets the board. We're at the three minute mark. Foul charge. At the free throw line. Opportunity. He sinks it. He can't get one to fall. Who wants it? And he saves it. The Gators. Up. He gets the layup to go and the foul. What a hoop. He saw the defender coming and tried to go right through him. Number 33 is put back in the game. Hey, this team easily cuts apart without him out there, Brad. Opportunity now for an easy one. Got to make the freebies. These kids are really struggling from the free throw line tonight. I hope they can turn it around before it costs them the game. Long handles the feed. Had his shot rejected. Gave it up. Pump fakes, lets it fly, knocked it down. Cross court, we're at the two minute mark. Dumps it in from the corner, off the mark. Lewis receives the ball. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity. Gets the rejection. On the dribble, gives it up. Unusual mistake there by the senior. Number two makes the substitution back into the ballgame. Well, Brad, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of energy he comes with. The Longhorns are going into their zone motion offense now. Working it around the perimeter. For the bucket, he nails the shot. In the post, tries for two, goes in. About a minute remaining in the game clock. 
And now getting set up here in a four-round one. Well, the four-round one motion offense is a good offense when the team has a big guy who can play with his back toward the basket and another big who can play on the perimeter. A lot of teams who play this offense. Gave it up. He shoots from the deep corner. Bust the jumper. On the outside. For two. He gets the shot to fall. Moving it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. He's money with the shot. Texas is in the bonus. Number 33, quickly checking back in. They need him out there, Brad, just like I need you, man. This guy is the glue. Chance for an easy one. Gets it. Second shot. He dials long distance. No. At the end of the first half, the Longhorns are trailing by six. And while we get a moment here, let's take a look at the keys for each of these teams today. I've been really impressed with just how hard both teams are playing. These numbers show you how they've been performing. Baker checks in the game again. Hey, always interesting to see how players respond after a bit of a breather. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. They'll work it around the arc. The freshman has a brain cramp there and commits a turnover. Here they go in transition. Too physical. Another great sophomore right here, Dick. It's important to have kids like this on your team. They've had a year of experience, but they are still hungry to prove themselves to their teammates and coaches. can't miss free throws, Dick. It's going to kill you somewhere down the line. Well, you got to convert. That's the one thing, like football, special situation. you got to be able to execute. The layup's good and one, Dick. Hey, that's good concentration. Taking the ball hard to the hoop, knowing that someone's going to hack you. Steps to the line for an easy one. He can't buy one. And Dick, here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Trying to go inside. Baker saves it. Johnson handles the feed. Now the turnaround jump. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Bust the J. There's a double team waiting there. Now they work it around the perimeter. He tries to knock down the three. They get it to go. The Longhorns did a great job of going through the high post on that play. You know, it's a good offense when you can position a player at the high post and then have the ball delivered to a scoring threat. He attempts the jump shot, scores it. On 
on the right side. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Now looking for the pick. Hey, it's important that the dribbler really turns that corner horn when he's using that ball screen. Well, this is now one of the better free throw shooting teams in college basketball, that's for sure. I think they realize it's a problem, a problem which could cost them some really close games. Side. He tries the three ball. Missed it. He looks for three. Coleman picks up the defensive foul. Good teams will get to the line often. But getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Misses the free one. This team has got to be so frustrated, they are terrible at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Frustration only makes it worse, Brad. They have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it. Gets the third. They're doing a nice job of getting back on D. Inside. He takes the shot off the baseline. Nails the jumper. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Number two is charged with the foul. Misses his first shot. And they're catching nothing but iron at the free throw line, Dick. They're going to catch more than that from their coach if they don't start putting them down, Brad. Rims off. And that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight, Dick. Yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. Lewis receives the pass. The missed shot. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. For the bucket. And we'll head back down to the other end. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. And the slam. Hey, look out the wall, baby. Oh, my. about ready to start things up again. Looks like they're setting up into their zone motion. Cross court. From the corner. Off the mark. Tries for two. That one's off. Drains the shot. 
And they go into their motion offense, working with four around one here. I love the four around one, especially when you got a big guy who can pass the ball exceptionally well, as well as score. Now you've got to give help on him, and it leaves people open on the perimeter. And they better be able to make that open jump shot. The man asking for a screen here. Hey, whether it ends up in a roll or fade, it's well-executed two-man game. It's always a treat to watch. At the line. He misses his first shot. Not a very good night at the line, Dick. Absolutely no excuse for that, Brad. No excuse. Second shot, no good. Dick, this team is having some serious problems at the free throw line. And it's a collective effort by all of them tonight. They go into the low block. There's the block. And we're going the other way. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Lewis receives the ball. He puts up the J. Missed the jumper. Coleman receives the pass. For two, gets it to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. Shoots it. Perfectly executed. On the wing. Now the turnaround jumper. Jumper won't go. Gave it up. Goes up with a shot. Off the mark. Coleman handles the feed. Inside. He shoots from the corner. And off the mark. They work it around the perimeter. alley -oop. And the ball's out of bounds. We'll go back the other way. So many teams get bumped on screens when you inbounds the ball from the baseline. Looks at the three. Excellent jump shot right there. Up and inside. Goes up. Blocked. That one finds its way out of bounds, but we'll keep it right here. Here we go. We'll stay right here. Trying to execute on the inbounds. Turnaround jumper. He manages to keep it in play. Now try to feed the low block. Number 12 has called for the defensive foul. Third team foul. The Longhorns, not the greatest free throw shooting team, Mr. Vitale. Well, if you want to win those close games, Brad, you better make free throws. If you want to win championships, there's only one way. You better make free throws. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. A great trap initiated by the defense. The Gators now running a zone offense. Hey, one thing that works well against zones is overloading the side. Overload a side and force the defense to shift out of their desired position. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. For the bucket, he drains the shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps.
Goes up with it. Nope. Strong rebound, and now looking to move it down court in a hurry. They need to get out and run their lanes now. The point guard gets the pass. Puts it up. Perfectly executed. He can't afford to pick up another foul right now, Dick. He's got to watch himself. He's no good to his team on the bench. He steps up to the line. Hits the first shot. kids are really struggling from the free throw line tonight. I hope they can turn it around before it costs them the game. Oh, and that's his fourth foul. That was not a foul he wanted to pick up right now. We may see him come off to avoid picking up another. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Misses. And they can't find the rhythm at the line. I see a lot of them rushing their shots, Brad. They work the perimeter. Turnover committed by the senior. Takes the pass in the paint. Buries it. On the dribble, gives it up. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Lewis handles the feed. Tries for two. Gave it up. Got to control yourself. Once again, let's take a look at our star watch. He's typically really good from the charity stripe, Dick. He really knows how to focus in on the target during free throws. Shot good. Fed the low block. Jumper. Missed it. With the J. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts up the tray. Scores it. Gave it up. He needs to watch himself right now, Dick. Another foul could be a real difference maker. He may need to sit for a bit. He's got too many fouls at this moment. The Longhorns have had their struggles as a team from the free throw line, Dick. I tell you, that's a bad characteristic to have. When you got guys that are Brick City on the line, it makes the coach lose some hair, baby. He makes the second. 
one shot. Too much. That's a foul. He'll visit the charity strike. First one is no good. And the free throw woes continue. This is embarrassing display of free throw shooting, Brad. No good. This team has got to be so frustrated they are terrible at the free throw line that I did. Frustration only makes it worse, Brad. They have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it. Looking for a good shot. Goes up. The missed shot. Turnover by the senior. For two. Makes it. Jones receives the ball. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Jones receives the pass. He unloads a three. Number two is whistled for the defensive foul. Third personal foul. To the line for the free throw. He misses the first shot. And they're catching nothing but iron at the free throw line, Dick. They're going to catch more than that from their coach if they don't start putting them down, Brad. Foul shot is not good. A less than stellar performance, I'd say, at the line tonight. Less than stellar? You're too nice a guy, Brad. They're shooting horribly from the line tonight. He gets it to go. Way out on top, controlling the ball, can't connect. Ham receives the ball. one from three-point land. Nails a sweet jumper. The Gators are going to have to transition into playing strictly a half-court style now. They should definitely consider running longer half-court sets at this point. The time and score are in their favor, so it only makes sense. The Longhorns might be in a little bit of trouble here, Dick. I think it's time to ditch any default strategy in hopes of getting some quick baskets and some easy scores. They'll need some quick scores and defensive stops, Brad. That's the only way they'll be able to overcome this deficit. Playing up tempo may not be their thing, but it's their only chance of getting back into this game. In the post, turnaround jumper off the mark. Ham handles the pass. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. He attempts the trifecta. They get it to go. Timeout call. We'll get back to the action right after this.
And let's go back out onto the floor. About seven minutes remaining. They work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. He makes the shot. Well, whose team Temple went out? That's a question right here, Dick. You know, Brad, Temple is always important. Every team has their philosophy, and it's up to the players to follow the game plan. Bust the J. Zone offense now. Out on the right wing. He shoots from the corner. Misses from the outside. You bet. And now getting set up here in a four-round one. I tell you, that big guy they have that can step out and go inside is really special. He gives you that flexibility, which makes the offense multifaceted. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Will take the shot. Nails the sweet jumper. And look at him string that ball. That's how you move the ball, Brad. When you move it like that, good things happen on offense. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket, he drains the jumper. Look at that spacing. Puts up the J and come up short. The power forward handles the feed. Five minutes left in the game clock. Takes the jumper. He misses the J. Williams handles the feed. Working it around the perimeter. Tries for two. He nails the bucket. A great backdoor pass right there, Dick. It's great seeing those types of plays. That's team basketball. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Dumps it in. Florida is now in the bonus. Number three goes to the line for the first time. Up and in. side for two nope he gets the rebound moving it around the perimeter goes up for two two with a lay in Working around the arc. For the bucket. The layup is good. As we continue to track the game's tempo. The quick shots, Brian. That's why the tempo meter is where it's at. The small forward takes the feed. He attempts the trifecta. He seems absolute with great anticipation for the rejection. What an unbelievable play rotating over. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Jumper off the backboard. Now they work it around the perimeter. 
About three minutes remaining on the game clock. Tries for two. Scorches the net with a J. Coleman has been negatively influenced by his play and the events which have unfolded here. Things aren't coming easy for him right now. He's in a rut. Down inside. He tries the jumper. The missed shot. For two. With a layup. On the dribble. Gives it up. Knocked out of there. Blocked. Looking to move it around the perimeter. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. About two minutes remaining on the game clock. Down to the low block. I think that's it. That's his last personal. There was no doubt about that one. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. Receives the ball. Lewis keeps it in. Uncharacteristic mistake by the senior. Pushes it up. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. he got hops like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner is a high riser. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Puts up the jumper. Missed the jumper. Gets it to go. About a minute remaining. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Steps to the line for the freebie. Need to make that. And they can't find the rhythm at the line. I see a lot of them rushing their shots, Brad. Goes up for two. He hits it. Well, the lead is 10, Dick. Are you starting to hear the fat lady? Well, Brad, she could be warming up right now. I like it when a team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off it. is the second. They haven't been able to put it in from the line all night. Hey, this is how you win ball games, guys. Are we looking at after that timeout, Dick? That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. Looks like they're setting up into their zone motion. Doesn't go for the bucket. He doesn't get the hook to fall. Was that beautiful or what? The lead is nine. Nine is five, Brad. They have to keep their composure and take good shots. This is not one of the better free throw shooting teams in college basketball, that's for sure. Well, if you want to win those close games, Brad, you better make free throws. If you want to win championships, there's only one way. You better make free throws. Foul shot, no good. 
Not a very good night at the line, Dick. Absolutely no excuse for that, Brad. No excuse. Cunningham getting after it and saves it. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. With the freebie. Makes the shot. Converts on that free throw line, and that's major. So Dick's so important now at the point. The point guard will set things up, and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a post guy on the interior, and they're trying to get that ball to the inside, but they're playing with four people on the exterior. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. On the outside. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. He is going to the line. Makes the first. Yes, two at the charity strike. Shoots from half court. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. Well, that concludes our opening round coverage. Make sure you tune in for the semifinal action. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Well, before we go any further, let's see who came in as our players of the game today. Only one will walk away with the win, but both these kids gave it everything they had, and it was great to watch them compete.